Yo, it's Elliot at Farrow's Lead Farm. So I got a good one for you today. I'm gonna test the Midwest Industries QD 30 millimeter mount, and it's got the huge cantilever on it. So it's this guy right here. And I was trying to figure out what rifle has about the most recoil, and it would be this Barrett M10750 with a suppressor on it. And because I'm retarded, I'm gonna shoot some 750 grain Amax. Got 10 rounds in here. Got the target set up at 100, so. Yeah, we'll shoot, we'll zero it, and then I'm gonna take the scope off and I'll put it back on and see if I can hit anything or confirm the zero. Okay, without further ado. Okay, fucking A. This thing recoils ridiculously. All right, contact. Okay. I see you up there. Bad instant headache. Wow. So I'm getting pretty zeroed, but <clears throat> first things first. The scope stayed in the mount, so that's nice. But this is a Vortex Viper PST. Uh, illuminated, all that good stuff. But just in two shots, I'll, I'll try and get a picture later. There's like black shit all over the lens of the scope, so. Which is not out of line. Vortex does not make the greatest stuff anymore, contrary to popular belief. Sorry to burst your bubble. But for the 50, let's go. All right, let's come a few more to the left. I like it. All right, dead nut centered up. Fuck. Let's put another one in there. Okay. So I got my group going. Zero confirmed, pretty fresh. I'm seeing a little bit of mirage already over the suppressor. I'm gonna take this off. So here it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. <clears throat> we'll come back to the same spot. We'll move everything around a little bit. Do, do some of these numbers here. All right, come back to the same spot. Better check this bastard. Okay. And now we shall reconfirm said zero. <laughs> I'll tell you. So. If I'm lying, I'm dying. That's literally in the same bullet hole as the first one. Not too bad. My second one was about an inch higher, so I'm going to take another shot so I can get a good picture of the group later. Dude. 
This stuff is ridiculous. It's actually pretty darn accurate, which I'm surprised. But I'm going to take a break because I'm slightly concussed at the moment. Let me breathe for a second. Maybe the black shit in the scope is just stars in my vision. No, it's all right. I can still see the spy balloon. It's the scope. Holy crap. Okay. It's pretty cold outside. Half of that is gas that you're seeing coming out of my fat mouth. Holy fuck. I'm not saying this is fun. It's more miserable. Shooting a hell of a group. So I got that going for me. I'm starting to see a lot of mirage though. Usually means I'm gonna string them vertically through this bad mammer jammer. <laughs> I was hoping just to rattle off Ted and be like, boom, here's my Instagram video, but uh, no, I gotta regain my composure. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. We're shooting very well, but um, it's getting harder and harder to squeeze the trigger. <laughs> mm. Kind of like that game they used to play with your brother. And they call it Russian arm wrestling, where he's holding your hand back and you're like just trying to get it not to hit the ground. But you know you're going to smash yourself in the freaking face because you're stupid and he's an asshole. That's what, that's exactly what this is like. <sighs> wow, a lot of mirage. Okay. Oh, now that hopefully is on video where the gun didn't move. Now that, after 10 rounds of 50, that's not professional trigger control. I don't know what is. But anyway, I'm going to go run across the bridge. I'll grab the target. We'll take a picture. I'll inlay it in there. Hopefully you can see. But <clears throat> the mount's return to zero was perfect literally stacking them on top of each other at 100 or 90-ish yards. I don't know. I got pretty lazy putting it out there. It's in the same area that all the rest of my trash sits at 100 yards. So, <sighs> If any of the bullets bounced into the next county, I apologize. No tracers this time, so there shouldn't be any 80-acre fires for local fire department to put out. Sorry, guys. I know it gets pretty exciting. But anyway, yeah. I know these things have been out for a while, uh, but they're kind of our go-to as far as QD mounts go. Um, the nice thing is the caps are straight up and down, which makes it easier to level. There's another company out there, and their caps go sideways. Um, their mount is really good, but screwing them in sideways is uh, super uber stupid. It is just really hard to level. It takes, you know, I want to shoot. I don't want a gun plumb especially on scopes, because that's super boring. So yeah, Midwest Industries, 30 millimeter mount. They do them in 34, one inch mounts. This one's got the huge cantilever. So I like running it on a service rifle that way. <clears throat> but anyway, hopefully you guys can see the proof is in the pudding. It's hard to lie. Hopefully you saw me get my ass kicked about a foot of recoil every time with this thing suppressed. And 
doesn't get much worse than that. So there you go. Buy with confidence. You don't have to get them from us. But if you're looking for a good QD mount, there you go. That is all. Carry on. Holy shit. My fucking face hurts, man. Suppressor helps with concussion, but <laughs> sinuses, man. Jeez. <laughs>